Echo, what time is it? The time is 9.51 p.m. What's up, guys? I'm Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a new Amazon Echo Dot with the clock. So sit back, relax, and let me tell you all about it. So here we have the Echo Dot with the new clock feature. Now this is based off the third generation Echo Dot units, but let's go ahead and open it up and see what it comes with. In the box it comes with the setup guide and it comes with a power brake. Now when you compare it to the original Echo Dot 3, it looks 100% identical. And the thing is, is that the clock is hidden behind this grill so you can't even see that it has a clock. So if you see both of these sitting side by side, you wouldn't really know which one was which. And here's the Echo Dot 3 compared to the new Echo with the clock. And as you can see, they're the exact same height as well. Take a closer look at the top. You have your volume up and down, you have your mute button, and you have your command button. It also has four microphones to pick up that really good range no matter what room you're in. And it has a rubberized bottom so when you put it on the surface, you can see it sticks very well. On the back of it, you're gonna find your power input as well as the auxiliary output so you can run that out to an audio system or a bigger speaker system. Now that I showed you a little bit about the Echo Dot, let's go ahead and plug it in and take a look at the display. And also I'm gonna show you how to connect it to your smartphone. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. And so far the only thing that comes up is hello on the front display. If you don't have it already, be sure to go to your app store and download the Amazon Alexa app and then sign into your Amazon account. It looks like the technology is getting better because as soon as I opened up the application, it knew there was an Echo Dot that needed to be installed. Now I'm going to hit uh, later so I can go ahead and start it from scratch to show you guys all the different screens. From the main screen, go ahead and press devices at the very bottom of the screen. Once it opens up, hit the plus in the top corner. Then press on add a device. Depends on what device you have, I'm going to go ahead and press on Amazon Echo. Then select Echo Dot again. Now since I don't see the clock version on this display, let's go ahead and use the third generation. Since the orange light is already glowing, go ahead and press yes. Now this one was named Echo Dot 5TV. Let's go ahead and press on that one. Look on this Wi-Fi list and go ahead and choose yours, but since I previously did it, I'm going to go ahead and hit mine and go ahead and log in automatically. What it's doing now is programming my Wi-Fi password into the Echo unit, so later on it's not required. On the screen, go ahead and press continue. Press continue again. And now you want to choose where you want to locate it. I'm going to choose the custom name at the bottom and call it Echo with Clock. Then press continue. And that's how you set it up to your account for the first time. Now the Alexa unit is all set up and ready to go. You can see that the hello turned into a clock here on the front. Now this is also can be used with a snooze button. So if your alarm goes off, you can press that and that gives you a snooze. Now I'm going to give it a few commands. For those who don't know, Amazon will send out a list of different commands you can give it every month. So be sure you opt into that if you want to see what's the newest and greatest thing available. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Good question. Definitely candy corn. It's just like me, sweet and corny. Thanks for asking. Here's another fun thing. Try asking me to tell you a joke. Tell me a joke. Why did the snowplows ask for a raise? Because they're just scraping by. Announce trick or treat. Announcing. Trick or treat. That's kind of scary. It actually recorded my voice and then played it back. Let's get spooky. Ooh, it's that time of year to get spooky. I've got spooky stories, spooky games, or spooky sounds for you to try. What sounds fun? It looks like all the voice commands are working properly, but now I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth of the application itself 
and some of the settings that you can do to control the Alexa to get the most use out of it. Now let's look at the custom features that you can add onto the Alexa unit. At the very bottom, press on device of the application, then press on Echo and Alexa. At the very top, the one that I've programmed today is called Echo with Clock. Let's press on that. So from the top here, you can control your audio volume. You can connect Bluetooth devices. You can change your Wi-Fi setup, pair speakers, add a remote unit, pair to Alexa gadgets. You can control the display. And inside of here, you can change the brightness of your clock. You can also go to military time at the bottom. You can control the tap of the snooze. And under sounds, you can give the alarm different sounds. You can change the notifications. You can turn the incoming ringer off or on just in case someone sends you a message. And you can also have it to reply at the beginning of the message or at the end of the message. You have free time where you control your parental guards, do not disturb, turn off the communication. Under the device location, you can select that to give it local uh, commands. You can change your wake word. Let's call it echo for now. You have a follow-up mode. And this is where you can have a conversation with it instead of uh, having to do the command word every time. And then you have languages. Measuring units is where you can use Celsius or kilometers. And you can also deregister it if you want to move it to another location or sell it. And the about just shows up the serial number as well as the MAC address. Now what we're going to do is hit the three lines in the very top corner. And from there you can add list and notes. And here you can make a shopping list as well as notes. You can set up reminders and alarms. You have contacts and that's going to be a list of contacts that you have where you can do voice commands to make phone calls. You have routines. You can create routines like when this happens, create an action. So you can wake up and say good morning Echo. And then you can add a list of different actions that it can do like tell you the weather, it can tell you the traffic, anything you want to have set up on this list here. Under things to try, it gives you like different ways to uh, learn how to use Alexa much better. As you can see, it's a long list here of things you can try out. But the most important to me is skill and games. And this is how you can make your Alexa much, much smarter. For example, let's say if you have Sirius Site Radio, you can go here, then get the Sirius XM app. And then once you click on it, you can log into your account and now your Alexa has control over that. And there's all kind of different categories that you can look through here and you can find whatever your lifestyle is and find something that matches up. And a lot of people don't know, under activities, this actually shows a list of every voice command that it actually gives. So you can go back and look at the log of everything that happened through your Alexa unit. And the last thing you have is settings. And that goes back to the main screen right here where you can change your account settings, your device settings, you can lose, use Alexa on your phone, your location, and notifications. Down here, you can do your preference. So like, for example, if I hit music, these are all the music accounts that it has access to, but you can hit plus at the top. And then you have Pandora, Deezer, Satellite Radio, and you can see the list there. Now I'm going to show you guys how to program a Bluetooth device. And this could be phones, headphones, or anything you want to hook up to it, including speakers. So today I'm going to use these Impal headphones. And all you need to do is put your headphones in pair mode by pressing and hold down the power or whatever feature it has. Once you see the light blink, then it's in pair mode. From your smart device, press device, then Echo Alexa. Now this can only be connected to one device. I'm going to press on the Echo clock. Then I'm going to go down to Bluetooth and then pair device. Now if you see the ring is going around blue and at the bottom it found the Impal H5. Press on that. And inside of here I heard that it says now connected to Bluetooth. 
Now at this point, you can listen to music or anything you want through the Alexa device. Now to connect it to a phone or a tablet or TV, all you need to do is go into your Bluetooth settings and put it in a discovery mode. Now press pair a new device and see the phone found the echo dot right there. And you can see right there, it's on the list. Now to play music through it, I can just hit play on my favorite music player. As you can see, it's pretty easy to connect any kind of Bluetooth device to it. If you have a lighting system similar to like the Philips Hues like I have, then you can use the Echo unit to turn off your lights and change colors. Let me give you an example. Echo, turn all lights on. And you can see it turned my light on through the system. Turn light blue. Turn all lights red. So that's another cool feature you can do if you have a setup like the Philips Hue system. And if you have a thermostat or anything like that, you can also connect it to your Echo device. So let me give you an example of that. I have the Google Nest installed, so let's try it out. Temperature, 70 degrees. The AC is set to 70. And I do feel the air conditioner kicking in. Turn AC off. It's off. So the biggest question about this video is, what does the Echo Clock do? It does everything any Echo or Alexa system does, except in the front you have a clock that you can tell time with, and you can use it like a alarm clock with the snooze feature. But other than that, at this point, it doesn't display anything. It doesn't show you when you turn the air conditioner on. It doesn't show any radio stations or anything like that. But I think in the future, they will start updating the firmware so it can show you what music is playing and things like that. But we'll see how that goes. So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you leave a comment below this video so I can get some ideas for my next video. And uh, see you guys on the next one. Peace.